this is retina imaging channel in this short video we'll be discussing about pachychoroid pigment epitheliopathy so we know that the pachychoroid spectrum includes various entities starting from uncomplicated pachychoroid to pachychoroid pigment epitheliopathy central serous choroid retinopathy pachychoroid neovasculopathy and polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy newer entities like focal choroidal excavation peripapillary pachychoroid syndrome and pachychoroid geographic atrophy have also been added so before going to the pachychoroid pigment epithelopathy we'll see what uncomplicated pachychoroid or ucp means uncomplicated pachychoroid means the eye has pachychoroid or thick choroid however it doesn't have any retinal pigment epithelium atrophy or alterations and it doesn't have any subretinal fluid so this is how an uncomplicated pachychoroid looks like the oct in this picture is showing skin choroid with dilated halar layer vessels infrared reflectance image of the patient is clean it doesn't show any hyper or hypo reflectivity because it doesn't have any rp alterations coming to the pachychoroid pigment epitheliopathy or ppe pachychoroid pigment epitheliopathy by definition should have pachychoroid rp alterations it can have pds pachydrusen however it will not have any srf so this is how a pachychoroid pigment epitheliopathy fundus looks like if we see closely here then we can see some rp alterations near the inferior arcade the oct and infrared reflectance of this patient to thickened choroid with dilated halar layer vessels if we look at the oct and the infrared reflectance images minutely then we'll see that near the disc or over the papillomacular bundle there is a loss of outer retinal layers and rpe there is rp atrophy noted as hyper reflectivity on the infrared reflectance image the fundus fluorescence angiography shows window defects in the same area suggesting rp abnormalities autofluorescence image very nicely shows hypo autofluorescence at the areas of loss of rp and the rpa stress is shown as hyper autofluorescence on the edges this is another patient with pachychoroid pigment epithelopathy the red arrow here shows pachydrusen whereas the green arrow shows rpe alterations the oct of this patient shows for pachychoroid infrared image shows hyper and hypo reflectivities suggesting of rpe alterations fluorescence angiography shows some window defect but it doesn't show any leak autofluorescence shows hypo reflectivity at the areas of rpa disturbances we need to understand that pachychoroid pigment epithelopathy can be a precursor of csc it can be an outcome of resolved csc and it can evolve into pachychoroid neovasculopathy or polypoidal choroidal vasculopathy so it's a continuous process and such eyes need close follow up if you like this video then don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you very much